Hey, welcome back to Overhead Athletics. Today I'm joined by Andre. We're gonna go through one of our favorite pressing variations for the throwing athlete. And the reason that we like this floor press is because it limits our amount of horizontal abduction. So go ahead and give me a few here, Andre. He just told me I'm making him look weak on camera because he goes 30s, I do 50s, buddy. Working on the floor press, keep going, keep repping. I like to go for more reps in the beginning. It's a great way to start to target the pack but for him specifically, who's had a little bit of tricep strain soreness posteriorly in the throwing arm, this is a great way to start to load the tricep without taking him into end degrees of flexion. So I like this as a, a way to start to train the internal rotators of the pec, but also load the tricep without letting him go back into that position where a lot of our throwing athletes are unstable. We know at the end of the throw, when my arm lays back, when I'm starting to accelerate, that I have a big load on the front of the shoulder. If I'm replicating that load when I bench press, that may be predisposing the front of the shoulder to anterior shoulder pain and tensile load, which can load the labrum. So anybody who has little eager shoulder, anyone who has labral tears, has to be really careful with any sort of bench press. Dumbbells provide us some availability to move through different ranges with a little bit of freedom. But the thing that we like to note here is we're pressing from this angle as opposed to elbows flared out to the side. And I like to do about 20 reps to start. How you feeling? Good. He's gotta go up. He needs 50s. Now one thing we like to try with our throwers, come on up to the top, is if they're having any sort of anterior shoulder pain, even with the chest press where they're just lightly coming down to the floor, we can put an AirX pad or some sort of external cue that'll actually prevent them from dropping even further to the floor to keep them more in the scapular plane and protect the front of the shoulder. This is our favorite pressing variation for throwing athletes, keeping in mind that still pressing is lower on our hierarchical chain of what we wanna train for throwing athletes. Pressing being not as high of a priority for us with our baseball players. This is one way we like to do it. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys in the next one.